So what up YouTube? Um, I uploaded a video yesterday about my grid system. I made a few adjustments um, to uh, the grid system itself. And I thought maybe the first video was there and so I will show it now. As per use, you guys see like the grid system. And we now have a building way that it can spawn multiple items. This is a pod system, so in the game that I'm creating, there is no rotation. So when I click this, it will delete. This is technically stop the building. Um, this will be activated on Escape 2 later on. But yeah, um, when I was building the grid system, I was more thinking about also multiple level system and multiple grid managers um, in one level. So what I now can do is when I go to the landscaping tool, um, in this particular way though, it can be with every other thing. Like if you made a landscape in Blender, um, this should work too. When I go to sculpt and I will make like a small adjustment here in the map, there's a bigger part there. Um, there's a bigger part, like there is no ground in here and technically this should be deep enough if i'm i hopefully i hope it is so we're gonna make it a little bit more deeper so this will make certain if i make this a little bit more more even like this so you have a deep valley or so this will make sure like what i've did it will test the landscape where you want with a tag. So let me go to there. So if I click on my landscape and if I just type in tag, I put a tag in there as land. And then here in the code, like I have a double screen thingy. But if I go to the code, it will check first if the object is valid, that's got hit. And it will che check for a, a return value. So it's just a safety precaution to have a double check because I got bugs for some reason. Then we'll check from the hit actor if it has a tag. If it has a tag, yes, it will enable the grid cell. And at this point it will, I will show you guys, it will set the collisions enabled and uh, make the visibility. So that will do that. Now, then I hear you asking why won't you have it enabled all the time? Uh, that's pretty clear, uh, pretty simple, because I want the grid system to be working um, whenever and however. So I made two codes, it's deactivate grid cell and enable grid cell, and the grid cell will disable the collisions and it will hide it in the game. The hidden is purely um, debugging uh, for if it works, so that will be under a debugging code later on, but for now it's just like this. But in the begin play, I will deactivate the grid cell with the specific code that I want to. Then I have a two, two second delay, and then I will have a detect ground. The detect ground will be uh, a, a get world location, world 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 a world location from the um, for a spare trace, like the start and the end, just on the zero point where the um, grid cell is at that moment. Um, what I already said, we'll check, 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 and then it will be enabled. So if I now press play, as you guys see, it's not perfect because um, the um, sphere trace is maybe a little bit too big because normally this shouldn't find it. But you can adjust that. But you see, the canyon is now non-traceable anymore. So what you can do, I guess, I did not test it, so this is a live thingy. If I change the radius here to, let's say, uh, three or so, um, as you can see, you fine-tuned your radius of the grid. So this is also more or less uh exactly how you want it it doesn't look like this because this is lod problems like if you go further it's fixing it of course um, but technically it has that part i still need to have a camera rotation stuff in here but for now it will find like the position of um 
the uh, if it traces the landscape, um, it will do it once though in the beginning of the map. It will do that, and so that means every time if I do an adjustment, so even here, if I sculpt this, even if I oh even if I make a mountain, this should not work perfectly yet. There still should be a grid thingy. Right, and then make this a flattened part in here, just flatten it here a little bit, right? So now we have this small mountain, small water canyon. If I now press play, the canyon will not have a visible tracing line. So, all, of course, you need to check out how you are going to do this, and if this is possible to do so. Um, but yeah, so this is how you can do it. You can also do it a little bit different though. Um, you can, let's say with the painting and stuff, you can put X in there and that's my next step to make this a little bit more perfect. So it will, um, determine if the tag on the landscape is the right tag. So yeah. So in the material you can put tax and um, it will go on the landscape. So as you can see now, I cannot build here, but I can build here. So that's perfect. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to have a full tutorial on the full grid system and everything else, let me know. I will try to make it then if there is enough people that want to see it. Um, peace out, bye.